Hey, I wanna. This is the worst. Uh, I just, I started this video. I have to start over because I gotta go directly now. People talk about. I I speak of um. The religious things. I don't. You can I don't even talk about marriage in the in the fact of religion, because if I did, I would say this. I would say why we should not uh, allow marriage. If I was going to speak on it religiously, okay, sin is like secondhand smoke. You don't have to actually do the sin to be affected by it. If you're in a car and somebody in that car has drugs. The whole car goes goes to jail. Everybody in the car goes to jail. Okay, that's the, you know you don't have to actually be committing a crime to get punished for the crime. You can be accessory to it for just being around it. You can be affected by it. It can affect you just like somebody smokes a cigarette and you're not smoking. You never smoke, but you can catch cancer from it. You can get sick from it. It affects you just from inhaling it, being in the same vicinity uh, uh, or allowing it around you. You know, it can affect you. That's what sin is like, okay? Sin sin is like a tumor. It's like, you know, oh, I just got a little bit of tumor, tumor right here on my knee. I just got a little bit of cancer right here on my knee. And you expect for that not to affect the rest of the whole body? You know, it'll spread throughout the whole body. So, you know, when you start legitimizing sin, it starts to spread to your kids. It starts to spread to everybody, you know. And sin is sin. Sin is adultery just like everything else, you know. It's, it's just that it just, the nature of sin is to grow and grow and grow and to just take over things and bind things and control things and to flip things around. That's what it is. Now, I wanted to say before I said all of that, let's pray for Fantasia. Fantasia is going through some serious things. Let's pray for Fantasia. You know, you know, it's bad when you let a toxic person into your life. When you let a toxic, you know, and I have, I'm guilty of the same thing. I let people stay around knowing they ain't no good for me, knowing they don't mean me any well. And then they start to slowly, slowly, slowly creep into, you know, other, every aspect of your life. You know, you, you know, I mean, you can have, you know, toxic people, you should not entertain them. You should not have, they are toxic and they be waiting for the moment, for the time that they can just get you what they want from you that they can just take. You know, that's what it is. And, and the devil will steal your damn gift. He'll try to steal your joy, your gift. Now this girl tried to commit suicide because of a very toxic situation that she allowed in her life. She allowed this situation. Now we don't know, we always quick to judge, but we don't know if that was a whole setup that they was just after her money. Pretty boy, she got macked. She got macked by Pretty Boy Floyd. Comes up to her, does her all this stuff, makes her fall in love, breaks up her divorce, and now she gonna sue, her wife gonna sue her, and then they get back together. <laughs> we don't know. So, but we do know is that the girl was laying in a closet half dead. Almost got wiped out. Her gift completely taken away from her. And I think she has, uh, suffered internal injuries. Which can, which can affect her body, which is her body is her instrument, which she sings and a gift of God. So pray for her because, you know, I understand sin has also a way of just putting you out on front street. The devil has a way of putting your sin out on front street. When you see people with their booty wide open and millions of people watching on the internet, you know, I just saw something about another artist, the same thing, you know. You know, that's what it does. Wait until you get on front street and just, just, just air you out. That's why I always say it's good to keep your sin right in front of the Lord, right before where he can see it. So when you say to yourself, Lord, I know I'm doing wrong, it's when you get prideful and 
arrogant in your sin and think that your sin is not a sin, that that's when you find out that it's a sin and everybody else thinks it's a sin too. So now we have got really holy about adultery and about that whole situation about, a, you know, the desecration of somebody else's marriage. You know, oh, now you're a homebreaker. Are you such a terrible person when them people might have been the ones trying to mack her? You know, I ain't never seen nobody with a tattoo of somebody's name that is married, you know? So, uh, anyway, in public, you know? So, anyway, you know, the devil, that's why I just say, you know, when you think that your sin is not a sin, is when you wind up getting your butt in trouble. So we need to be careful what we going to think that we have the right to tell people what's a sin and what's not a sin and what we say is holy and what is not a holy. You know, there's nothing holy about that ground zero. There's nothing holy about it. Matter of fact, you was about to make another uh, another uh, building before, <laughs> before, would you, you know, and go back to work and make money on it. Ain't nothing holy about where them people die. If anything, it's on. <laughs> yeah, I ain't saying that. When Giuliani went digging in there, he went digging for gold and then called off everything after he found that gold that was in there. And really, you're blaming the Muslims, you're blaming, blaming the wrong people. It was Bush and, uh, Bush and Trainy and, and Building 7 that fell for no reason. You know, steel buildings don't fall. Steel buildings don't just crumble. You know, they would at least melt. So anyway, you blaming the blaming the Muslims, you blaming the one. Even the Al Qaeda didn't have to have to have all that was needed to do that run. Everybody knows those buildings were blown up, imploded floor by floor, and the Muslims did not do that. And there was a person who knew about the security um, that that day that there were some things happening that day. The guy that was on the bridge, I think they can't even find him him now. He said when he saw they they had security people come in and do certain things and plant those detonations in there uh, sometime before it happened. So even blaming get mad at the Muslims anyhow. Anyway, I want to talk again about Fantasia. You know what? You in good company, girl. Everybody else got their ass out. Of Everybody got their booty out. Why are you getting all so upset? Everybody else doing sexual stuff. You know? You know, I don't know why you so upset. <laughs> everybody seen everybody else's booty. <laughs> you just in, the, you know, you just in the same company with everybody else. You know, I don't know why you so upset behind that. You know, I know you ain't in love. <laughs> you know, you in lust. You know, there's a big difference. You know, you know. So anyway. You know, and the cat might have been playing you from the start for your money because you don't have the sense enough to know the difference. Because if you was 30 years old, honey, is she 30? If you was 30 years old, you would have been like, later for you, cat, where your money at? <laughs> How much money you got? Before we get in the bed, you got to have the same, same amount of money as I do. <laughs> I'm serious. Don't show me no age report. Show me your 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 credit report before we get in bed. <laughs> show no show show me your assets. <laughs> Don't show me your ass. <laughs> show me your assets, not your ass. <laughs> I want to know that you got enough money. I don't have to uh, risk, you know, risk, you know, a financial loss. Now you're gonna get sued. I mean, they knew that. They knew that. <laughs> His wife was like, yo, that woman right there, she got a lot of money. You know, anyway. Everybody want a good man. Everybody wants somebody to look good. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I ain't going to go there. Anyway, uh, so, <laughs> so anyhow. <laughs> find out these men, you know. Pretty is as that pretty does, honey. I wouldn't be sweating over nobody's looks. Anyway, uh, so um, 
So, like I say, um, you know, what really just gets me is how, 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 you know, I just love it, you know. Oh, we're, we're, we're so about doing the right thing. Well, just because we can do the right thing don't mean we should do it. <laughs> oh, we're so, we're so tolerant. We're so tolerant. <laughs> we so tolerant. As long as it don't believe, as long as it don't affect you, you know. How does that, <laughs> that mind don't affect nobody? Now, I am not in, in favor. I don't even believe in, in the Muslim God. I believe in Christianity. And so this girl said, it don't matter what God you believe in. I believe it does. But I also believe that, um, that uh, my God blesses all people, you know. So God bless you all.